Today we are discussing Luke chapter 6 verses 27 to 42. Now if you've already given that passage a read, then it won't be surprising to you why Luke says over and over again that people hear Jesus' teaching and they're amazed at his words. It reminds me of what Alex said last week about Jesus calling us to inconceivable living. Because some of the things Luke says, in, or Jesus says, excuse me, in this passage about loving our enemies and not judging people and serving people without expecting anything in return, for most people that's pretty inconceivable. And really what Jesus is doing here in this bit of a sermon is he's setting out uh, uh, or redefining uh, what it means to be human. He's setting out a new kind of ethic. You see, in ancient Roman culture, reciprocity was the name of the game. Uh, You give as good as you get. And essentially, I don't think much has changed. I don't know if that's so much a cultural thing or just a human nature thing, that there's just something about us that we say, yeah, yeah, I'm sure I'm really happy to help you as long as I know you're going to help me in return. And we all have had those experiences where we go out of our way for someone and then when we come around and ask them for help and they don't, we start listing off in our mind all the things we've done for them. And it's just in human nature, this sense of reciprocity. And yet Jesus here in this passage sets out a new kind of ethic. But what Jesus is setting out, he's not so much trying to change what you do, but why you do it. Uh, He highlights it here right in the center of the passage in verses 35 to 36. And also we'll look at um, 38 as well. Uh, Jesus is, is speaking in verse 35 and he says, Love your enemies, do good to them, and lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great and you will be children of the Most High, because he is kind to the ungrateful and wicked. Be merciful just as your Father is merciful. Then down in uh, sentence 38, he says, Give and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. You see, reciprocity says, I'm going to do something uh, good for you because you were good to me. But Jesus' new kind of ethic, his new way to be human says, I'm going to be good to you because God was good to me. You see, in sentence uh, 36, yes, 36, where it says, be merciful because God is merciful. He's saying, be merciful because God has been merciful to you. And when he talks about being kind to the ungrateful or to the wicked, he's not saying those ungrateful people in that other church. He's saying, you are the ungrateful one. You are the wicked one. And yet God loved you when? God loved you when? you were unkind. God loved you when you were undeserving. God loved you when you fill in the blank. And so that is the motivation. That is the reason. Reciprocity says, I give as good as I get. But Jesus points out in verse 38 that we get as good as we give. It's, it's flipping around uh, what the culture says. So the challenge for us then is as we're considering, when we have those opportunities to do good for the people around us, to love and serve people who we feel like don't deserve it, or maybe they're just driving us a little crazy because we've been locked in a house with them for eight or nine weeks. When we're in those moments where we're considering, uh, rather than asking, what have you done for me lately? We ask, what has God done for me lately? And we allow that to drive our motivation for why we love and care for the people around us.